Have you ever experienced sibling rivalry? Well, imagine this, you're an only child and your parents dote on you and everybody loves you and you win awards. And then comes along another child. It takes all your parents' attention and energy and it's a cool new child and everybody loves it. And that's exactly what's happened to the Land Rover Discovery when the Defender came along. But now it's time for the Discovery to get some more love. It's facelift time. So let's have a look and see what's happened to the Land Rover Discovery. As you can see, the Discovery will go pretty much anywhere you want it to go. It's pretty muddy, which means I've been up in the hills there enjoying the mud. Uh, and it really is fantastic when you get to go off road. Not that many people will. Now, in terms of the cosmetics, you've got some new LED lights here, apparently, and a new bumper. But frankly, it just looks like the old Discovery, doesn't it? So it hasn't had that much love. Um, let's have a look around the back. And not much has changed back here either, has it? You've got LED lights and... Um, um, uh, uh, yep, yeah, it's the number plate is still. Um, I like it. Okay, now, I know not many people do, but I don't think it's a reason not to love the the Discovery, is it? But it's a new badge, D three hundred. Out goes the old V six diesel, in comes a straight six, uh, which is really rather fun. And that's where the biggest changes have happened under the skin and inside. So let's go for a drive. <music> So what makes a Discovery different from the Defender? Well, it is a full seven-seater. It's got two seats that to hide away in the boot. Um, I've sat back there, not usually comfortable for somebody my size, but it's doable, whereas the Defender is more of a five plus two. This has got seven seats, quite easy to get in back there as well. Land Rover have also tweaked the chassis settings of this car to make it apparently feel more car-like. Now, to me, the thing I've always loved about the Discovery is how it wafts. It just glides over bumps and as you may see from some of my uh, wobbly a bits wobbling um, it's not quite as comfortable a ride as it used to be it's a little bit firmer the body roll is is kept in check a little bit more the steering is a little bit more direct but it just doesn't waft like it used to you go over some bumps and whereas you just ignore them in the past you're now thinking Ooh, that's not very discovery like Elsewhere, there's pros and cons inside. There is now this lovely PIVI uh, infotainment system, which works really, really well. Lovely big screen, love it. Digital dials, love all the tech, really has had a big tech upgrade. And of course, you now get software over the air updates, so you might come and get a new car in the morning and there's some new functionality. Whoa, exciting. But there's also some, uh, some quality downgrades. There's this big plastic section here in the middle, which new gear lever and control system for the uh, all-terrain systems. And as I've said, it's great off-road, but that's just, plastic's a bit cheap there. And the, some of the plastic on the, the steering wheel as well. Just not sure that's a step forward for Discovery, which is a shame because elsewhere you get some lovely white leather. New seats, the seats are, are really comfortable. So a lot of what the Discovery does well, it still does really well. The infotainment is a massive upgrade, but the way it drives and some of the quality, a bit disappointed really. I'll be honest, I'm still a big fan of the Land Rover Discovery. If you need a big seven seat SUV, you've got the Volvo XC90 or the Audi Q7, or frankly, I think I'd still have one of these. Is it the most successful facelift I've ever come across? I don't think so. There's some things that have disappointed me. I don't think it rides quite as nicely as it used to do. I used to love that. And some of the quality inside isn't that good, but the infotainment is a big improvement. So if you need seven seats, a little bit of luxury, then the Discovery is the one for you, but there is still the Defender. It's cool, isn't it? 